Hello, I'm Michael Glass from michaelglass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forest Technology Trading Plan for Sunday, June 5th. And before we get our uh, begin our videos, we want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for educational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. In each of our video, we look at the price action from the prior week. We try to identify a key support and resistance level. We'll look at the gold and crude oil charts for some leading indications. We'll create a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, look at the economic calendar, see what's going to affect our future trades, and we have an education spotlight at the end. So let's pull up the charts. Okay, we are starting off with the dollar currency pairs. The first one up is the dollar Canadian. And here you can see what we've been watching, this ascending wedge pattern. Certainly long term is a downtrend. However, since May, we've entered a little uptrend and we battled to get above 98.15. And then Friday's action, we did actually wick up through it and come right back. So we're still in this ascending wedge pattern. Um, you can see how fast we went up to a sell zone. By the way, I have this indicated here. This is a Bollinger Band setup that uh, ThinkScripter, Thinkscripter ThinkScripter.com uh, was kind enough to put this together for me, so I want to definitely thank him for that. And the basic premise is that there are buy and sell zones. Obviously, the buy zones are down here, sell zones are up here. And you tie it in with an RSI or a stochastic. Um, so I want to thank him for sharing that, and you can go to his website to learn more. So right now, I'm just going to continue to watch this um, a sitting wedge pattern and see how it play, plays out. Uh, the dollar franc, obviously downtrend, zoom on out, and of course you can see uh, we're in a buy zone here on hourly, and it's just pushing making new lows. And what we've been waiting for is for some type of pullback to the 20 moving average to get into the sell zone to get a good uh, a short. So right now I'm going to continue to sit on hands um, as it continues to push lower. And then our last dollar one is the dollar yen. This has been in a nice consolidation range. You can see this channel here and even down here. And now here we are resting at the bottom of this channel. And notice that that also puts us in a buy zone. So I am looking to go long here. Um, it's certainly aggressive to go long right here. Uh, you may look for some confirmation like... Uh, maybe a W pattern that you can see here. So a W pattern, you will be going long up here at 82, which also will be where um, the 200 million average will be if we get up there. That's the conservative entry. Next, we are moving to the Euro currency pairs, starting off with Euro Aussie. And you can see a W pattern here that kind of panned out. We also broke out of this consolidation range. But here we are at the resistance of the 200 moving average. That we can see that was honored on multiple occasions, and we're up here in the sell zone on our hourly. So, um, definitely want to see what's going to happen here. Are we going to pull back? Uh, there probably is a short halfway through this candle down to our original support, um, but again, that is a little aggressive. See if the 200 is going to hold up as uh, resistance. Uh, next, we have the Euro Canadian. This is in the big range. You can already see on the hourly that um, you know we're, we're at in the sell zone, so a modified W in here. This is where we fell, failed last time, so it'll be interesting to see if the sellers find value here and try to push it back down. The Euro Frank, obviously in a downtrend. Uh, this is just like the dollar Frank. We want to get this back up to the 20 million average so that we can find a safer short. Uh, so right now I'm going to continue to sit on hands. Uh, the Euro Yen. This one we're kind of watching this descending wedge type pattern here. Uh, it's good that we did break up here. To, found the 200 as support uh, above the 20 to 50 and we've been consolidating here. You really could just raise this back up and say a break on 118. Um, it's certainly going to be bullish somewhat. Uh, but we also have this downtrend line in the 500 million hours to respect. And we're on the sell zone side of our Bollinger Band setup. Finally, we have the Euro dollar, which has certainly been bullish the past couple weeks here. 
here's our W pattern. We broke above that, found uh, initial resistance, and now Friday's action got us even above that. Are we going to go test this swing high? It certainly looks like it, but you can see how high we are on the Bollinger side as far as are we in a sell zone. Yes, so uh, if you're not already in it, I will sit on hands and let's find that short. Okay, as we get into some of the pound currencies, we got the euro pound. Great, um, you know, great move this week. You can even see a W pattern in here. Uh, certainly looks like we're going to run up and test last swing high, even as we're in the sell zone. So if you're not in it, you know, we got to sit on hands and see if we can find a short. Switch over to the pound yen. Pound yen sort of in a range here. Uh, we thought it was going to get a breakdown. We could take this line here, and now we can drag it up here. So we still have a decent wedge pattern playing out here. And notice that our wicks, um, we could take this line, our price line, and probably bring it down to a break below 13700 uh, as far as the downside. Uh, what about the pound dollar? has found its strength it was you can see how weak it was um, and what's good is that as it came up and pulled back it's bouncing off the 20 and 50 that's good and so we need to see if this is going to go ahead and at least take this swing high and make uh, make a new high so that we can confirm the uptrend um, if you're not in I've sit on hands for a second um, there is uh, there is a potential, uh, you know, again, are we going to break this to make a new high? That's the price level I will be watching. Our Aussie dollar also has refound its strength, but it's setting up a decent wedge pattern also. Um, really, um, you know, you can see the weakness, and then we sort of took out this swing high here. So you could say maybe we, again, have found our strength again. You can see the action over the last hour there. But we're also in a sell zone. We're also in a decent wedge. So I want to see this breakout, a confirm a breakout above uh, our price level here to confirm that we're going to go test that last swing high. So I want to break above 108, and then that will make me feel better about testing this last swing high. Finally, we've got the New Zealand dollar. And this is certainly the strongest of them all. Uh, maybe there's a trade off this bounce off the 20 here, uh, but right now it looks like we may actually be more likely with our stochastics and our side rolling over for sure. So here we are looking at gold. Uh, gold has found its strength. It's nice to see that it's uh, bouncing off the 20. But you can see on our market profile, we've got a point of control of 1537. A lot of volume in here, certainly volume support for a test of the last swing high. Um, so we want to keep bouncing above the 20 minimum average. We want, if we're going to test the swing high, we want to stay above this 1540, which we should be able to do because of our volume support at 1537. As far as oil is concerned, we're really just cycling around um, the $100 price range. You can see this channel that we've been in here for a couple weeks. Uh, and we're below the 20 to 50 minimum average, and you can see our bell curve here and our point of control at $100, and so that's acting as resistance where we are right now, and that this gets us all the way up to 101 before there's you know another vacuum to take advantage to the upside. Uh, we need to get below 99.75 is to take advantage of a move to the downside. So our theme for this week has been the golden rule of training, and that is to cut your losses and let your winners run. Again, these are the, these are the things that separate winning traders from losing traders, from consistent profitable traders, from consistently losing traders, uh, from protecting your, your capital, protecting your bank account, and from blowing out your bank account. And we talked about this uh, in multiple videos, multiple facets, that... Uh, people get caught up in this tick by tick battle of being right or wrong. And trading is not about being right or wrong. Trading is about developing a setup that matches who you are as a trader with your risk tolerance and your investing goals. 
and you come up with a strategy and you trade it over and over again so that you can come up with a positive expectancy that if I take this setup over a period of time, I know that I'm going to have more winners than losers and that my winners outweigh the, the, the amount of money that I win outweighs the money that I will lose. That's what trading is all about. Take the emotions out of it and just uh, trading your setup day after day after day. Cut your losses and let your winners run. So once again, I do want to thank uh, ThinkScripter for developing the uh, Bollinger Band setup, uh, and we'll talk more about that as time goes on. You can find our videos, which great uh, trading mindset videos, uh, Move with Mike uh, on Twitter, YouTube, uh, on Facebook. We have a page, Are You Financially Literate? Our blog, obviously, is at michaelglass.com, which we're updating. What we did is we're consolidating five blogs down into one, and so we're adding... Uh, content day after day, so keep coming back to our, our, our blog. So um, for our Forex, we, do, we still have our free five video course on high-quality trading, and it's really across the board, whether you're trading Forex, futures, options, whatever it may be, it's all about high-probability trading. Um, if you are trading Forex, cast back for Forex trades, might as well get paid to trade. It doesn't affect your spread. It doesn't affect anything. Um, it's just cash back for your winners or losers. Uh, we've got a great four signal software. Um, it predicts hours, uh, your eight hour trends so that you can know which direction you should be trading. And if you are looking for signals, we've got a great automated forex trading platform for you where you can auto trade the signals given to you or you can just take the signals and trade them yourself. And there are a bunch of, there's a signal provider ranking system so you can compare all the people who are providing signals and find one that matches who you are as a trader. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.